It's not just the United States. It's the entire world. We're all at a crossroads. We have seen corruption never before witnessed in this planet's history, openly documented and chronicled before us. I'll be honest with you, it, it threw me for a curveball. I thought the whole NSA spy grid would end up enslaving humanity, which it has to a great extent. But everything has an opposite and equal reaction. So the spy grid blew up in the controller's faces and documented, chronicled their crimes. WikiLeaks, in its nine, ten year history, has been bipartisan in exposing corruption. It's one of the most respectable groups out there. And I've held my judgment until recently. I salute WikiLeaks. And they have released 40 plus data dumps on Podesta, um, a window, a limited window, one person into these people. And it's devil worship and disappearing kids and stuff that you can't even believe. Foreign governments buying and selling politicians. Hillary ordering stuff covered up from the FBI. Total prison sentences. Look at all these articles. This is just what I covered today on the radio or what I attempted to cover in the Sunday broadcast 4 6 p.m. Tomorrow, kicking off at 11 a.m. Central at Infowars.com, we're going to broadcast 50 plus hours right through Election Day on Tuesday, right through Wednesday and beyond. George Soros and foreign banks are engaged in open sedition, spending billions in the last five years, creating Black Lives Matter and communist groups to openly call for the murder of police and the overthrow and burning of cities. He did that in Ukraine three years ago successfully. He launched the Arab Spring and bragged about it on CNN. What's frustrating is they admit it all. Today, Bloomberg, the Washington Post, the Associated Press, it's all right here, announced that illegals are voting and said it's an illegal's right because when you vote, you're a citizen. The president went on Fox to say, yes, there'll be no repercussions, vote. And I'm a racist because I don't want someone from Germany or Mexico or China to come vote here the day they get here illegally? This is such open warfare. So I've got a message, and I'm gonna be totally honest with everybody, as I always am, but to say you're being honest, it takes a long time to really get through every feeling, every intellectual idea, every thought, but I'm gonna do it right now. There's a paradox. People ask, you've been such an enemy of the police state, such a attacker of wrong things that cops and the feds do. Why are you their champion now in the last five years when I made four films on it and wrote books? I was never against the police. They were the modern uh, archetype of the night. On average, they were more involved, putting their life on the line, doing a hard job because of family ties and, and, and just an instinct to stand up against evil. But they were who were targeted by evil and corruption. So I was fighting for the heart and soul of police. The federalization, the globalization, and then I watched as not the way I thought where we'd expose the feds and the UN and the takeover. I was, I was stopping the, 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 you know, the training and the brainwashing and the revenue generation. I didn't realize that it would just be a total awakening against the globalist by the police and military and that they would be when I canvassed them and others, the number one group aware and involved and ready to stand up. I knew the globalists were going to send the uniform to our door to oppress us if they could get control of them. That if tyranny came, it would come in a uniform. So I knew they were important. But then I saw the police and military pretty much 90 plus percent wake up to the paradigm. And then I understood why the enemy was always trying to take control of them and trying to demonize them by giving them missions that were unconstitutional where they would march them out on a mission but then demonize them in the press for what they'd just done and misrepresent. And it was the statistics, which don't lie. These are hard numbers. You've got a better chance of dying in a car wreck, but that's the number one cause of death until you're about 60 and it's cancer and heart attacks. Got a better chance of dying in a car wreck than a cop. But then you got a better chance of drowning than a cop. You got a better chance of falling down the shower than a cop. You got a better chance of somebody, you know, shooting you than a cop. You got a, it's like 30 something down, depending on the year. Like one of the rarest ways to die is from a cop. So why have I turned on the news every night? Was it the cop was the number one problem for me and my enemy? And why was I playing into that? And then I studied George Soros in third world countries. He overthrew Ukraine. And I figured it out before he did it, but 
He overthrew Ukraine in an anti-cop movement with the news they controlled in Ukraine running a few videos out of context of cops out manned, outgunned, doing desperate stuff and looking like bad guys. And sure, some thugs get involved in law enforcement. It happened. And then I began to realize, oh my God, all my work has been so productive and so accurate except in this area. And I realized that I had to somehow turn this around because America isn't perfect and our police aren't perfect and our local governments aren't perfect, but they are diverse because locals are involved and real people are involved and it's decentralized. But you look at the globalist and Soros and the UN, these are hardcore, evil, evil people engaged in social engineering that want us poor, want us dumbed down, and they want to use violent civil wars to consolidate control and destroy economies and bring in Marshall plans to then basically rebuild things but own the whole new culture from the top-down system. And they're so arrogant, they write books about it and admit it all. And so before I get into this presentation with all this documentation, I want you to understand that they think we're stupid. They think that we're going to fall to this, and they think we're dumb. And this is the great test to see whether or not that happens. But all I know is, thank God I'm not with George Soros and her. Because Donald Trump's not a perfect man. Nobody is. But he understands how we've been set up, how special interests took over, how they want to make us poor and dumb to control us. Hell, they write textbooks on it. And he's pissed off about it, and he wants to change it. And it's such an incredibly historical battle that I'm just honored to be involved in it. So here's my message to the FBI. And here's my message to local police and the military. I'm going to be just totally honest, even though I don't like being honest at this level because it's painful. I don't want to sound like a bully because I'm not. I'm not, I'm not the New World Order. But being awake and being the New World Order is just a few degrees of separation because... You look at how soft the public is, how dumb they are on average, how lazy, how entitled, especially young people, and how they piss on anybody that stands up for anything. And you ask, why do I stand up for you when all you do is bitch and complain, make stuff up, and believe propaganda? But you know what? There are a lot of good people of every race, color, and creed who do want liberty. And so we've got to stand up for them, even if the mass majority of people are a bunch of scum. You know, Hillary sees a bunch of dumbed-down people and says, good, I can con them and take control of them, make them even poorer, and even more controllable by me, and then use them as a big army to take over people we don't control. I look at these people and just wish they had a brain cell and that I was able to get through to them so we could change all this and fire up the tax cuts, fire up the nationalism, and what made America great, we could all be literally wealthy and honorable. But con artists learned how to take over. So my message is this in summation before I get into all the documentation. The military and the police are low. They're corrupt, they're evil, they're bad. They do horrible things. But they're miles above the public because they're the ones that have to live in the real world with the babies that are dead and the ODing parents and the murder and the kidnapping and the scum. They're there to clean up the garbage while the rest of the public sits there on their ass watching TV and sucking their thumbs and bitching about everything like a bunch of armchair quarterbacks. So because the military and the police are at least involved in the real world, they're light years better than the public. And I never imagined that. I saw the police and military being prepared as enemies of America. I didn't realize that as you were being given the training, the light bulbs were going off and you were realizing what happened and were beginning to resist it. So I apologize for that. And again, you're not perfect, I'm not perfect, but at least you're in the arena. You're going to the civil disturbances. You're going to the husband and wife fighting with each other, the most dangerous thing out there. You're dealing with the drunks. You're dealing with the car wrecks. You're dealing with the dead kids. You're dealing with the paramedics. You're dealing with the real stuff, and that's what makes you human because it's lack of humanity and stress that makes people these demonic jellyfish. And that's why the nanny state wants to keep people out of real stress. And that's why I realized that's why the globalists hate the police and military. Even though you've been their minions, and even though you've been their servants, you are so much more human than these waddling, soft, dumbass, pathetic creatures. And I can call them dumbasses because they are on average, and they're a joke. The difference is I'm not trying to fuck them. I see some dumbass jellyfish. I feel sorry for them, try to wake them up. 
I'm too prideful to screw them over just because they're a sack of cowardly filth. And then I realized that's the feeling of the military, the police putting their lives on the line, doing everything every day for a bunch of spoiled trash that doesn't even care. I've been doing this 25 years and I have put everything I am on the line. I've, I'm not bitching about it, it's been an honor to be real. But I understand that in this new world of the pansy ass fakes, being real is seen as weak. When, I, when, when we all know that's only what a coward has to say. Because they're not willing to get in the arena. As Teddy Roosevelt said, well, you're in the arena, I'm in the arena. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't get tears in my eyes because I'm weak. I get tears in my eyes because I've got strength. I'm ready to take these people on. So much of it, I can't even handle it. And you know that feeling as well. We're going to defeat the globalist. But it's going to be rough and it's going to be hard. The prosperity of America is its greatest downfall. Because liberty, limited liberty compared to other nations, not perfect, but the best there was, created so much damn wealth that I myself am a shadow of my grandfather's. And I'm more of a man than five million men stacked up. By five million, I mean you average me in, I'm in the top one-tenth of one percent. And it ain't that I'm that high. I'm just miles above people that have lost their souls. I don't feel good being tough. I don't feel good. When I was in high school, I could take 10 guys on, kick every one of their asses. Because my soul hadn't been switched off. 100 years ago, I'd have fought one guy I got my ass kicked. Or maybe stood against him. That's what I mean. If I'm weak compared to my grandfathers, but I can intellectually and in business and physically defeat governments, what happened to us? I want to recapture that. I believe in humanity. The enemy wants to make us weak. That's not good. So... They teach us to be cynical. They teach us not to care. But here's my message. If you don't leak all the information you've got, even though I know the media is cowards and they don't care, they don't get what they're even looking at. If you don't leak it, if you don't stand up now, if you don't speak out now, forget whether Trump gets elected or not. He's way ahead. He is the winner. They steal it from him. It makes him 10 times worse. We've got all the internal polls. Hell, they had 15, 20, 30 points of Hillary supporters. They admitted the polls. He's still ahead. In their freaking fake polls, ABC, you name it. But you have to make the decision, and I'm telling this to myself right now because I do it every day. Anybody who puts their life on the line knows what it's like every day to make that decision. Because you won't give up your humanity. You won't give up who you are for anybody except God. And God says do it. That if you don't leak the information, if you don't speak out, if you don't stop complying with evil, if you don't even do more to resist this, you've signed on to it. And that's a fate worse than death. I'm not going to live on my knees, ladies and gentlemen, and I know you're not either. And look, we're not, we're not playing anything violent here offensively. But you better believe when this evil that hates better clingers gets into control, you better believe they're coming after us. So if you won't fight now, if you won't fight now in the information war, you will never fight when it becomes physical. I've done everything I can. And Lord knows I've learned and I've not been perfect. And maybe I'm wrong about some things I say. But I'm just reaching out to the imperfect people that I've statistically seen be willing to stand up more than the general public. And it makes me feel weak as a human to know I'm associated with the general public. God, they are the slimiest, scummiest, laziest, stupidest jackasses I've ever seen. But you know what? I'm not a devil. And I'm not going to start farming these people just because the globalists are. Because let me tell you, the only people lower are the vampires that feed off these dumbasses. So here's the thing. The dumbasses may not care. They might not appreciate it. But God cares. And we got a duty to take care of these sheep. And I could feel the energy. You know, I used to, I used to, I had grandparents die and I'd go to their funerals and I wouldn't cry. Because I knew they lived great lives. They were good people. They'd done great things. I loved them. But years later, I'd be driving down the road thinking about them. I get a tear in my eye. Because I'm not some weeper, but the energy level is so high. The change is so big. The decisions are so strong. But I got tears in my eyes like an hour a day, folks. I got chills up and down my spine every minute. Because the very soul of our species that fought so long to be free and our ancestors that went through hell so we'd have a little bit of freedom 
all that bank account they built up, those badasses. It's being flushed out the toilet so that a witch like Hillary, God, connected to the Satanism. Look how it's all coming out, the Satanism, the kids, all of it. What the hell have we become? Her funding of radical jihad Islam, her living with a woman whose mother pushes gentle mutilation of little girls. They're about pedophiles. They're about destroying people's future. They're about stealing what they would be as adults and the pleasure they'd have with a man or woman as adults. It's Satanism. I was sent these videos. Nobody ever aired. World Net Daily was sent them. I didn't check it out. I just felt like I should give it to World Net Daily. And it was hours of them torturing people to death and Al-Qaeda forces, ISIS forces, chopping up people's bodies and making men in the Libyan army before they killed them eat flesh Believing in Islam, they'd go to hell because they were impure. It was a satanic ritual. And I realized everything we face is a satanic ritual. So Dew is breaking his back here. He's been here the last 14 days straight. I appreciate Rob. If he's got any points he wants to add, it's there. But the energy level is very high right now because humanity's at a crossroads. Donald Trump's going to win in a landslide. But they are planning to steal it. Look at the rigged WikiLeaks. Look at the rigged polls. Look at all of it coming out. Brazil, you know, and the stage questions of CNN. But the little bit of solace I look at when I look at Donna Brazil and Hillary and all these ugly ass little pieces of sh crap is again, the little bit of solace is we're chivalrous. We're noble compared to them. God knows our best works are dirty rags before Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. But the little bit of solace is we're not them. We're not with her. The problem is. They're going to continue to have their way with the public raised in front of TV in a medical trance. Look it up. The general public is in a trance. We're living in such a science fiction movie that things are so insane, I don't even have ways to describe it anymore. But the reason we're reaching... It was 20 million people a year ago, a week. It was 30 million people a month ago. It's 30 million a day now. And the reason we're doing that is because we're still conscious. And again, it is being involved with stress, being involved with the real world, having to work that manifests all the archetypal memories and genetic instincts you have. So thank God, as police officers and military, even though they tell you it's a disease that you've been involved in combat, and believe me, the average cop's been involved in combat plenty. That's a gift. That has activated everything you were. I was 10 years old getting off the bus when gang members who were five years older than me would beat me up. And I'd come on black eyes. My dad wasn't Mr. Tough Guy, but he was an Americana, and he said, you better learn how to fight harder. And it wasn't that I learned to fight hard from being beat up God, probably 50 times when I was 10, 11, 12. It was that it was opening up in me all the instincts and all the systems I needed. And within a year and a half of that, I didn't need to go take martial arts to know how to beat the living hell out of somebody. And I'm not saying violence is a good thing overall. The point is, is it awakened the sheepdog in me? And that's why they don't want to awaken that in anybody and they want to go to robots and machines because the predators understand how this works and they want to end that. That's why they want to take your mistakes and magnify it to demonize you so that they can finally bring you down. Because as corrupt as our police and military are, they're miles above the general public in awakening. And before they convert to automated AI systems, they have to finally bring you down. And that epiphany about four years ago was one of the strongest I've ever had. That I was trying to stop the corruption of the, the, the alpha male. And in many respects, I was successful, but not in the way I thought I would be. So, my message is this. Comey has come out and said that Hillary is above the law. We had a guest on last week who was in touch with five FBI agents. Three have now been told they're being let off early, early retirement. One is being told that he's going to be fired. And I don't tell you that to intimidate you. I tell you that to tell you the truth. These are real men. There'll be no future when all this happens. You won't get your pension funds anyways. They're bringing in a nightmare tyranny that's a boot stomping on the human face forever. Your only hope is to tell the truth and do the right thing. Your only hope is to go in and be strong. 
and that so many people stand up, they can't stop us all. The number one thing you have that dwarfs everything else, when I say dwarfs, if I, sold, if I told you I'd give you a billion dollars for your soul, you'd say, no way, that's my soul, right? But what if you don't believe you have a soul? Okay, what if I give you a billion dollars to give me your eyes? You'd say, I don't want to be blind, no way. What about your integrity? It's the most valuable thing you've got. It's your soul. It's w w what you decided to do. And I get the soft public isn't going to make the right decision in many cases. But I've made the right decision. I've studied social engineering. They hire a lot of people now to be cops and FBI and stuff because they think you're a personality that wants to suppress people and be sadistic or has a low IQ. But that's only a recent phenomenon. Before they hired people who they thought were, had courage and would go out and follow orders. But before that, people were hired because they really were willing to stand up against evil. But think about that. Think about that. Because how do you get somebody to go against their own real biological coding? I know why the social engineers, let's say with the CIA, went out and recruited many members of my family. I've never been involved with CIA, have no dealings with the CIA. But if you go to places all over Texas, that's one of their biggest recruiting grounds. And I don't mean for pencil pushing or uh, analyst type work, but for operations, killing people, you name it. Well, of course they had to have people with my genetic expression under their control. They weren't hiring all these people to do all this just for no reason. They were doing it to have them on their reservation. Well, look, I'm not on your reservation. I've had these people try to recruit me just in the last month, three separate times. Everybody acts like working for the CIA or something's like, oh my God, I won the lottery. I don't even care about being in stupid Hollywood movies. And I say that to piss on the Hollywood movies, to piss on the establishment. I don't want to be part of this thing. But the reason I raise that is some of you they recruited because they were thought you were evil. Maybe you really aren't. You can still find your humanity. You feel those chills, the Holy Spirit. Others, they recruit because they know how strong and good you are. And if they can manipulate you, you can do great things as a power slave for them. I'm saying break free and be your own person and follow the guy in the high command, Jesus Christ who will lead God and direct you and give you guidance from on top. And by the way, these devil worshipers are doing horrible crap to kids, doing unspeakable things because the devil tells them, you've got to really do these things so that I can give you power. No, the devil wants to take a powerful person and break them down so they're a slave. God's not looking for slaves. God's looking for free will for people that want to stand up and who aren't cowards. If you want to know why I've hurt the enemy so bad, it's because of the prayers of Christians. And it's because I have a loving heart, a tender heart, and I will stand up against the evil that's taking place. Doesn't mean I'm perfect. And it doesn't mean that in my name or what I've done that I'll be seen as a success by the world. Because I've always known I'm not doing this for the world. I'm not doing this for the mainstream TV or adoration. Or I mean, Carl Rove told me, he, he goes, some video, he goes, you don't get it. You don't play by the rules. Start laughing. You're not part of the establishment. I went, I got more viewers most days than Fox News, but that isn't even my benchmark. Why would I want this failed evil system to give me a stamp of approval and certification? The last light has passed out of the Republic. Darkness is now here. And the decision is up to you for the future of your soul. And I don't say that from some high position of some fake preacher or some fake priest. I say that from the sinner of the awakening. I say that from the zeitgeist because I want you to join me and be greater than I ever was or greater than anybody else ever was. So I'm just an average person. You decide to let God into your life and to really let God direct you. You decide to believe in Jesus Christ. You decide to stand for what's right. I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. I just say, God, and I'm just like, I make these decisions and it's just devastating. You understand? You have to like get to that point where you start loose. And then you look back later and you go, oh my God, I can't believe I did that just right. Because it's not you, it's God. But God's free will. God ain't like the devil that tricks you to dumb yourself down and bring you down. You've got to come up to God and reach up. And right when you think God isn't coming, God's going to grab your hand. But you've got to go through persecution 
so that God knows you're not going to turn your back as a warrior when stuff gets tough. The innocents are crying out for you. The innocents need you. And now is the time to stand up. Rob, you want to say anything? I'm going to show these articles. We'll get out of here. I'm going to get back to your family. I've been up like 20 hours. So much is happening. You're hearing, you're hearing all this. What do you think? I think it's a very inspirational message, and I hope it gets out to the NYPD and that they do come to their senses and just put this information out there. Because that, I think, you know, having have just a total rebuke of the system if they come out, put the information out, and the FBI has said, oh, no, she's fine. You can tell me 650,000 emails they read in a week. There's no way. It's a total. I mean, the I FBI think that's told insane. us. They said this is a total shell. Alex, they said through yeah. Nichols. Alex and I know one of the guys. Stop it, your main con. The, 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 it's already in there. It's already there. That 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 that, that her and Obama covered it up. It's right. open and shut. Right. I mean, just and just that WikiLeak there that Obama knew he was sending stuff to her on a, on a, an under, an un, uh, secure email, and then he lied and said, "Oh, I learned about it when you guys learned about it." And, but they had the emails. They're like, oh, we better cover this up. By the way, I agree. You know, dude, you're not you know? some big Bible thumper, and I don't sit here. And I'm not, man. One guy's like, enough about religion. Let us hear facts. Okay, I'll give you facts. I personally, being under attack by these people and the crap I've been through, you people can't even imagine the infiltration, the black. It's like a freaking movie. I, I, Christ is what I've got, okay? So sit there as an atheist and say, I need my little blanket or whatever. But understand, I can't do this without Jesus Christ. You understand that? So that's what I have. That's what I've got. That's what gives me the strength of discernment. I see some of the comments. I, I get it, okay? At least I'm not devil worshiping like Hillary, okay? I believe in a God that cares about children and prosperity. But I'm done. Let's stop talking about, fine. We'll talk about facts. We'll do that for you. Rob, go ahead. Anything else? Uh, well, uh, tomorrow's the day. If you don't do it tomorrow, you might as well not do it because you guys have the power to change American history. Remember when George Bush got in and we knew it was fixed and he beat Al Gore, and I'm not an Al Gore fan at all. But do you think 9-11 would have happened if Al Gore was in office? Do you think we would have invaded? Who knows? Maybe he would have got into it too. But... By having your, your destiny stolen from you by unscrupulous people, it's the worst thing we can leave. And we're going to create a whole other generation, a whole other dark chapter that we've had with, you know, and Bush is even looking good now compared to Obama. What the, but he was, he was corrupt and sold out, too, just like the rest of those, those uh, neocon war hawks. And we just have to look at ourselves and go, is this the world we want to give to our children, where a witch like that is going to be in power for at least four years? Oh, celebrate. That's her today. Oh, yeah. the FBI says I did nothing, and we knew this was coming. We wanted to believe in Comey, but our insiders, the FBI literally had people calling up, chewing me out Friday. Yeah. Going, Alex, it's a giant scam. Limbaugh's right. You know, please. Yeah, and Limbaugh came to And they told me, they said, they said Saturday, or Limbaugh was right. Yeah. They said Saturday or Sunday next week, he will come out and give her full coverage. Yeah. And, and there it happened. By the way, they just fired these guys. Yeah. And pe so By the way, I mean, we're talking to real people. We're getting back. real stuff of Hillary with no crowd with, right. uh, with, with oh, LeBron. Yeah, with LeBron I mean, James. And you know how many people went to their... Um, their parade, that Cleveland Cup, it was millions of people coming to that parade. And all they got was 300. 300. And plus the ship, the people they ship in. No, they said none of the black folks would go in. Actually. Yeah, it was all white people. <laughs> it's crazy. Here's another fact. Somebody put up a little uh, uh, calculation. They said for them to go through those 650,000 emails, they would have had to read 54, or 64 emails a second. That was one of the first comments that went up there. 64 emails a second to go through all those in a week. Impossible. Impossible. Total That's a good headline. FBI's claim of nine days, 650,000, yeah. impossible. Yeah. Look, look, because they'd already been vetted. Nichols, but I've talked to some of the people involved. Well, you were there at Cleveland. I mean, Nichols, he laid it all out. He was told directly. I, I, I through somebody else know who one of his sources is, that's a Supreme Court justice. And it's like otherworldly. We're in contact through like one intermediary to Supreme Court justices. Matt Drudge isn't my source on this, but you know, he came here and said the Supreme Court justice mm -hmm. told us who we went to dinner. He said it on air. They're coming next year. It's going to happen. I mean, but we have it separately. And Hillary's going to lose big, folks. She's, she's collapsing. They're adding, again, on average 12 points to polls to show her behind Trump. You add 12 points, and he's still neck and neck or ahead. Uh, it's going to be crazy. But, but look, look, look. My message is this. We're screwed if we keep going down this path. And that's why even the London Guardian yesterday was reporting... The FBI says she's the Antichrist, and they're Trumplandia, not because Trump's even perfect, they say, but because Hillary they know is pure evil. That's it. We've now hit the bottom of the barrel. Right. How much further does it go? How much worse does it get? Because, all right, let me just show people some articles here. Come on around here, dude. Yeah. Look right here. This is the latest WikiLeaks, okay? And WikiLeaks says, it's ignorant to vote for Hillary without reading WikiLeaks. Then it gives the emails with the heads of the foundation telling Hillary it's all illegal, you're committing crimes, we've got to stop right now, Chelsea's involved in crime as well, oh my God, we've got to cover this up. It's the confidential auditor's report. 
And I mean, this is all certified from them, how they're not paying taxes, how they're committing all these crimes. I mean, here's the report right here. This is the, this is their own people. Like Podesta's like, draw and quarter whoever's having secret emails with classified stuff. We're all gonna go to prison. It's in there. And Hillary's like, cover it up, doesn't matter. And then the other like, oh, she's totally good. Oh, blah, blah, blah. One of these, it's like 50 years in prison. I mean, this is all right here. This is all public. So you say, oh, government, release info. Where, where's the where's the public even caring? Yeah. How about the stupid cubs? They don't want to everything you wanted the government to do is right here. And believe me, it wasn't the Russians brought this out. Okay? So 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 let's just start. I don't know where to start here. Let's just start at one end here. Okay. This was just some news that came out of uh, you know the Italian priest and a couple of just live thing. I kind of put these on the ed edge. Oh yeah, rushing off. Turns yeah. out the guy rushing off. Turns out they had a Democratic Party operative bird dogging, skilling. I've got a gun to make Trump look like a wimp. And people said, "Oh, Trump staged it. Trump staged it. Trump staged it." Oh, they said it right away. Yeah. That Roger Stone had done yeah. it. Yeah. Turned out it's Democratic Party operative. Yeah. No, it makes him makes him not look good running off like that. Okay, that's their plan. Who knows what they'll do by tomorrow? Who knows what wars? Who knows what stock market? You know, garbage. Uh, breaking. Hillary off the hook as FBI Director James Comey reveals the department will only uh, change its July decision after further email investigation. And you read here, it admits they looked at the 650,000 in nine days. In just nine days. Even the writer of this is going, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, How yeah. could they look at it in nine Yeah, give days? me a break, man. It's ridiculous. I mean, I'm like up all night trying to read just thousands of emails a day, and I'm like, I'm cross-eyed. I'm <laughs> cross-eyed. I can't even do it. Okay? And I'm a speed reader. Citizen journalists crack pedophile code, reportedly. That's what Red and everybody's involved in. If it's not drugs, you know, when they're going, hey, we got heat. We got to move $20,000 worth of this right now. You know, the kids will be in the hot tub. Whatever they're talking about. I don't know if it's drugs or what it is. Something's yeah. damn code. I mean, there's thousands of these email, email, emails. There's some crazy stuff. Law enforcement's the one saying, look at it. Again, their this. credit. This here, should, she should be put in prison for this right here. Just that. Yeah, she directed the maid to print out the classified materials. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Okay? That's okay. Okay? I mean, you know. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I don't want to get into it. I've seen people I know kill just because they work for the CIA. And then meanwhile, they got these people just doing this stuff. WikiLeaks, Trump, it's time to choose the history books. Close the history books on the Clintons. Absolutely true. I mean, what the hell? It's like North Korea. It's a hereditary dynasty. WikiLeaks reveals satanic rituals used by White House uh, chiefs and chefs. And, 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 folks, this is all confirmed. that This woman is doing Aleister Crowley crap, and then she comes out and says, I'm not a Satanist, and her email is 666, and then it's all this weird, hardcore crap. And then she admits, I do real rituals at home, but not in public, and Podesta goes to my home. Let's continue. Clinton campaign. If Whopper email is published by WikiLeaks in the next few days, it's probably fake. She's now saying that. You know, this is her communications director put that out. And I went to her uh, her tweet. Everybody's on there like, you're full of it. You're well, listen, WikiLeaks admits down. everything they put out is real. Yeah. It's from U.S. intelligence WikiLeaks mainly. WikiLeaks was the first response, by the way. And then let's expand. She's the one all along trying to say it's fake. They know even bigger stuff's coming out. Yeah. They're scared to death of it. And they've been proven absolutely wrong over and over again. They're the ones that have been caught putting out disinformation to the public. So that's a great point. Anything else, too? Uh, that's it. Just WikiLeaks was the first one. says, we put out everything bona fide. And then they said, uh, Donna Brazil is a total liar. We caught her. And they added some Yeah, by the way, Donna time. Brazil yeah. got caught giving questions from CNN to Hillary once, then twice, and has now had to resign. And the, the, these people, again, yeah. it's all Rick, folks. Uh, Assange, Clinton resisted FBI, and now they're out for a paycheck. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's the general law enforcement, uh, not the others. Not people on top. And again, Assange is saying openly that they're basically coming out of the free press in their next salvo. Remember, he said she's a literal demon. She's a devil. The FBI tells the Guardian she's an antichrist. Because what did Guccifer, who's now in federal prison, extradited, tell us three years ago? He got into all their emails. They admitted it. And he said, oh, my God, she's a mother of darkness. These are quotes. She's a high priestess of hardcore black magic. What did... And I looked into this case. We should get him back on. Author of Bloodlines of the Illuminati. We're the exclusive republisher of his book. For, I, I should be funding ourselves. You'll buy it at, at, at InfoWarsStore.com. Fritz Springmeyer. Let's get him back on tomorrow. Yeah. He wrote about how she's a high priestess, mother of darkness. Guccifer gets in. They admit. He says, oh, my God, they're all devil worshipers. Help us. Help us. And starts freaking out. And this is what continues to come out, folks. She is a high priestess in the most hardcore stuff you can imagine. And... That's Guccifer, folks. Let's continue. Or Guccifer, how do you pronounce it? Law enforcement, how do you pronounce the name? Tomato, Law enforcement tomato. begs world, read Hillary emails to find child rape evidence. Whether all the people sending vague, weird stuff are involved in something, we don't know. But the investigation was started by the OMIPD into Wiener connected to children. 
And then now we have major news articles with the founder of Blackwater, who's super high level, Eric Prince, saying, no, it's Jerry Epstein, the pedophile island, all of it. It's, it's just over the top. So again, you add all this together, Clinton's admitting voodoo and mm -hmm. Hillary and her witch church, I know about 20 years ago, and you just add it together, it's crazy. LeBron James campaign with Hillary on Sunday. They had again, 300 people there, total joke. Uh, Trump said he never said what Jay-Z and all them said. Uh, we could even play the video today. It had yeah. so many beeps on That's it. Ridiculous. He says, I got cocaine. I'm using my supply. I rape women. Uh, I do all of this. Inward, 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 inward. And, and Trump said, I won't even say inward. I won't even say the abbreviation. They'll come after me. But she's up there saying how great it is. But meanwhile, some edited tape from 11 years ago, which says women throw themselves on me. I grab them by the whatever. You know, or they'll let you, you know, hypothetically. That's all okay while she's on stage with them saying it. It's all about a false reality. It's all about... You know, engaging in this fraud at hip hop political rally starring Beyonce and Jay Z and Hillary Clinton. Oh, it's also funny. I've never said that in my life. Trump blasts Hillary for appearing on stage with Jay Z after the rapper drops f bombs in words during concert. Okay, so I mean, you can go watch it for yourself. It's on Infowars.com, the unbleached version. Here's Uma Abedin, who she stays in the same hotel room, whose mother's the top weirdo jihadi that says mutilate all young girls, cut their genitals off. You know, it's all completely satanic, folks. Al Qaeda, you know, eating dead people, you name it. This is what they're into. Uh, Shouldn't on Cuban American voters could deliver Florida to Donald Trump. Yeah, they're waking up. If anybody knows what a tyranny is, it's Cuban Americans. Absolutely. ISIS calls for slaughter of Americans on Election Day. They released the WikiLeaks where the same people funding ISIS, Saudi Arabia, fund Hillary. And she's been covering up for them. Video, President Obama encourages illegal immigrants to vote. Yeah. Folks, again, this is the total lawlessness. I played it on the show today, 4 to 6 p.m. The Sunday show is 4 to 6 p.m. Tomorrow we kick off at 52 hours, 11 a.m. Central. He, he has this, uh, you know... Uh, quote, uh, you know, illegal that's an American in the Fox interview, and she goes, well, I'm, I'm going to vote. I live here, so I have a right. I'm a citizen. Even if I'm not a citizen, I can vote. And he goes, yes, we're not going to track you. Anyone who votes is a citizen. You're right. Because if you're here, you vote. You're a citizen. This is the new thing where, again, they throw it in your face. The Washington Post goes, yeah, it's true. Undocumenteds are going to decide the election. That's but Trump's good. insane. Oh, let me just show you. Yeah. Yeah. But Trump's <laughs> insane. It doesn't exist. So the illegals are going to decide the election, but Trump's insane. It doesn't exist. Total lawlessness. But that's to Obama encourages illegal immigrants to vote. Okay? That's on Infowars.com. Uh, criminal President Obama encourages illegal aliens to vote. Promises no repercussions. Promises okay. no repercussions. Hillary off the hook again, FBI. Here, let's move to the next group of stacks here. Yeah. I mean, again, how am I supposed to quit? The whole fight for our country and our future is happening. Spread the word. Spread the links. Get involved like you never have before. Again, polls where they're adding 12% more for Hillary have them neck and neck. Trump at 44, Clinton at 43, oversampling Democrats. Their argument is there's more Democrats. Yeah, but they vote less than Republicans, so it's about dead even. They add that to create the perception you're betting for a loser, thinking you are a loser, and just go for who you think's the winner. <laughs> it's crazy. California secession group to hold me up the state capitol. Trump to make first public Minnesota visit. Dems fret over tightening polls. Yeah, they're panicking. They want to steal it. But don't worry, the letter run, she'll deliver it. Hell, she'll meet on the tarmac with Bill Clinton in front of everybody. She doesn't care. Hillary Clinton looks to bolster support in Michigan. She, she literally helped NAFTA, GATT, TPP, all these foreign things. I mean, anybody that votes for her who's in a Rust Belt is insane. U.S. government hackers threaten to intervene in an election over Russia. Oh, U.S. government hackers are going to intervene because the Russians are involved with no evidence while the feds are federalizing the elections, saying they're taking over, while saying Trump's insane, no election fraud exists. And when the votes flip at midnight, no, nothing to see. Yeah. Nothing, nothing to see, to even though we have record. Bev Harris, a Democrat, yeah. bipartisan, says they're going to seal it for Hillary. It's overwhelming. They have this fraction system where they sit there and pre-program it how they want, and they've caught them, and the Democrats are currently sealing it. That's Bev Harris, the big liberal that exposed Bush in 2000 for robbing Gore. I hate Al Gore, but Bush stole it. I'm on record then. I was on 120 affiliates when I was 26 years old. Nobody does that. I lost 70% of them for saying that Bush stole it from Gore. What I'm saying is I have credibility. So does Bev Harris. Bush stole it from Gore, folks. With the Clintons and the Bushes, they cation together, they say, see themselves as family, they love each other. They're now stealing it as we speak. What are we gonna do about it? Leak information, expose, take photos everywhere. Like police sent me photos of how nobody was there at the, at, at the, uh, at the uh, LeBron James thing today in Cleveland. Yep. See, that's how this works. So, oh, Obamacare, tripling prices. Oh, I thought it was free. Oh, they said so. Oh. New email implies top Clinton aide suggested Hillary use private server. Uh, didn't want her to run a foul of the law. Clinton directed her maid to print out classified materials. We told you that. Again, Trump surge freakout, more violence against supporters. We saw it last night. And it's all in the internal emails. That was a threat. Hey, gun, I got a gun. It was a threat against Trump. Because they've come to him and said, oh, there's the other big news. 
from my sources the last 48 hours that came to Trump, the intelligence agencies, not the good people, mid-level, low-level, but the big, big dogs. And they said, okay, you're winning massively, 10 points in Florida and seven points in Ohio and even five points in Pennsylvania. And you agree to work with us and not deal with Goldman Sachs and not get rid of NAFTA and GATT and globalism. We'll even let you have a small tax cut. But they want control. And we're going to let you be president. And Trump said, uh, people said, well, why doesn't Trump go public? These are private meetings. You, say, yeah, you, you kill the channels you don't. Plus, it's elites coming to you saying, hey, we'll throw a support behind you. It's not illegal. Trump told him to go to hell. <laughs> Hours later, the guy threatens to kill him at the events. Total message. All right, continuing. Trump supporter, Trump torched from Mexico City to Tehran, world awaits U.S. election results. The pump says it comes Look, out against Trump. back to this. Uh, we had a guy, and remember we were in Austin, at the rally uh, there, and somebody stabbed a knife in somebody's tire. These people, they don't want to play fair. And Oh, it's all these. Hold on one second. Hey, I'm doing a live feed. I'm almost done. I'll call you in a second, okay? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm doing a live feed right now. I'll call you right back. Love you. Anyways. All right, continuing. TV news prepares for a record-setting election night with Trump versus Clinton. And by the way, Infowars.com forward slash show. We're going to have Facebook feeds. We're going to have our own feeds. We're going to have YouTube feeds because they censor them. So we got to have backups. You're welcome to grab our feeds, put it on your YouTube channel. You're welcome to put us on your Facebook channel. Just aim at the TV. I finally convinced the crew to listen to me. They're hard work, and we don't, you know, they're all busting their ass. I said, listen, let's start running on like three of our YouTube channels. Oh, instead of a half million on one, now we get a couple hundred thousand here, a couple hundred thousand there. Sure, it's not like our Facebook with a million views last night, but hey, it's not chopped liver. Hillary can't get 300 in her vid. And so what we need you to do is if you have a Facebook or you have a Twitter Periscope or you have a YouTube, take clips of what we say. It's all copyright free. I don't give a damn about money or any of this. I want to beat these people. Then we can worry about money and you know, having a free market. But all I want is a car that drives and a house that doesn't leak. You know, I want to be free. Freedom's the real wealth. We should have an initiative announced tomorrow during the 52 hours. Take this, put it on your Facebook stream, put mm -hmm. it on your YouTube stream, infowars.com forward slash show. Jack it into your phone, jack it in, download it, whatever, take it live. Infowars.com, 11 a.m. tomorrow. 50 plus hours kicks off. It's historical. Be part of it. Uh, continuing. Oh, video. Hillary's coughing fit returns during short speech to Florida. She had to shut that down. Poll shows African American vote for Donald Trump is double Mitt Romney's vote. Massive. Flashback. Jesse Jackson praises Trump for committed to diversity, hiring a record number of blacks, putting them in power positions. He says he loves black people, loves your spirit. He's going to actually try to get jobs and tax cuts to your areas. That's like reparations, by the way, but it's not like fake reparations. Blame us. Somebody says, hey, you've been screwed over. How about you get extra tax cuts? I'm all for that, aren't you, dude? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn right. Trump, uh, we're all racist here. Trump, you know, who bought them TVs? Bitch, tell me that. All right. Uh, Trump uh, focuses on blue states while Clinton will cross here his battleground states on racist final Sunday. Yeah, he's set to get New York, you name it. Eternal Pulse, they're going to steal it, though, man. Uh, pope Francis, again, fake pope, use pedophile range to take over the Catholic Church, says cat Christians are bad in Europe, world government, gun control, he's here, total piece of film. In charge of going after the press, too, in his own home country. That's right, he's shutting yeah. down the press. Talk about that, dude. Yeah. Well, that was one of the things we talked about when we interviewed uh, Leo Zagami, how the early days of this pope, when he, I think he was in Argentina, and he, uh, they kidnapped two of these guys, held them for a long time. No, he, 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 helped, he helped priests get killed in yeah. a communist purge. Yeah. And, and they, they used communists to take control, right. then the church culled them once they got control. Exactly. Just like your little liberal brown shirts, when, when they're done with you, bye-bye. And now he's, you know, he's the head pope, and everybody listens to him. He lives behind a big wall and has lots of security, but he doesn't want you, nobody else he doesn't want you to have your own border. All right, so I want to walk folks through the building now. Yeah. Here's Rob Dew. We've got this studio in here, yep. and we are covering her, celebrating the FBI and their announcement. So we're going to be payoff. here tomorrow. Had to be a payoff. At 11 a.m. Central. We're going to be here at these studios, broadcasting live out of here. I'm going to go grab the schedule. Yeah, let's get the schedule on the show, folks. This will be up on Infowars.com in the morning. And we've got all these huge guests. With Marcos Morales working hard seven days a week. We've got a skeleton crew here right now. It's Travis tonight doing a great job. And and, and, my schedule and, and and we are going to be covering everything tomorrow at 11 a.m. for 50 plus hours live. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Infowars.com. Infowars.com forward slash show. And we also, look at that sunset, Butley took his picture from Michigan. Michigan. And we need your support. I mean, I've been doing hours here having plugged anything. We have a bunch of discounts on great nutraceuticals at InfoWarsLife.com. Hey, Brain Force now is 20% more. Oh, they added even more yeah, to Brain Force. More. Yeah, the pills are even bigger and stronger. That just came out. InfoWarsStore.com. You know, when you fund us, you're getting great products. You're finally the tip of the spear and just absolute crazed maniacs that are so committed to freedom. We're never giving in. We're never giving up. Uh, do you got the schedule here? Yeah, so 11 to 2 is going to be Alex. 
Then uh, two to four, David Knight. Four to six, Anthony Gucciardi. Uh, then I'm going to come on from six to eight. You're coming back in from eight to ten. You got a bunch of big guests coming on. Oh, lots of big uh, guests. Who's who? Uh, uh, it, it, yeah. Jesse James is coming on tomorrow. There All sorts of people. Ten to twelve. Uh, Trump's oh, lunch. Sure. Done. Done. Move with him. He's, oh, cool. great. Yeah. And then we're going to go through some uh, from probably midnight to six a.m. Going to go through some pre-tape best stuff. Of. Yeah, best of stuff. The Sunday show today was a great show. That'll probably end up in, in this one. Then six to eight, I'm back on. Then we got Owen eight to ten. Well, Paul Watson's going to join us from ten to eleven. Then Alex is back on for the big show. Uh, two to four, Leanne McAdoo. Four to five, Watson again. Uh, kind of doing a, a pre and post game show, and then five to seven, David Knight, uh, Alex back in at seven to ten, uh, ten to midnight, Owen uh, Schroyer and Margaret Howe, and then twelve a.m. to two, Biggs and Darren McBreen. Then we uh, do another four hours of uh, best of. Come back six a.m. to eight a.m. Owen Schroyer, ten uh, eight to ten, me Rob Dew, ten to eleven Watson, uh, eleven to two Alex, and then two to three night. And there's a bunch of big guests during all of this. Let exactly. Me, let me just close with this here. Yeah. My message began as very heartfelt about where we are as a culture and a society. The people running things are really evil. I've said this a thousand times, I'll say it again. If we were just dealing with boss hog corruption, some guy wanted to run stuff but didn't want to shut down prosperity, I would resist it, but I wouldn't risk my life and be so crazed. The globalists really want to piss on everybody and just have us poor and dumb and under their controls and active dominance. And those of us that aren't parasites have trouble dealing with that because we're not like that, we just can't imagine it. You study history, you read the WikiLeaks, you read the UN Biological Diversity Assessment, it's 21, it's all there. So, the public's not perfect, none of us are perfect, I'm not perfect. They want us to have a civil war in America. They want to blame the police and the military and make them the enemy like they're the government when they're actually citizens the globalists don't control. There's bad cops, there's okay cops, there's great cops. There's good military, there's wonderful military, there's bad military. They want to make that, though, the enemy and use bad examples, which we should reform, but instead of not looking at the CFR, the globalists, the National Security Council, the UN, the IMF, the World Bank, the OECD, the World Trade Organization, the TPP, the groups, they're just a few hundred guys, mainly guys. Hillary's a big part of it. It's like 90% men, but there's no sexism there, that run this whole damn thing and see you as an animal. And they're only in charge because they're OCD, they're organized, and they're focused on dominating. So they say metaphysically God's going to warn people and give them a chance to say no. So I guess InfoWars is part of that. You're getting free will. You're getting it all laid out in front of you. You're getting everything laid out in front of you so you get a chance to decide which side you're on or whether you just want to roll over and be an unconscious dumbass. Because the biggest trick they teach people is that getting involved and using energy to fight evil, you lose. Caring about yourself, screwing everyone, being lazy, you get ahead. No. You get ahead by being involved, by being informed. The more you get involved fighting tyranny, the more the doorways of perception open, the more your discernment increases, the more you get enlightened. This is the animating contest of liberty. This, this life is a test. Whether you believe in God or not, it is a test. And you live on through your children. So eternal life, as long as the species continues, is real. Proven. Just like our trees alive today, they were alive 10 million years ago. It's the same day, it's the genetics of those trees. Same trees are living on. They're not dying. It's magic. It's all around you. But understand something, I have knowledge of good and evil. Humans had that once. Before we only had knowledge of good, we weren't idiots in the archetype of the Garden of Eden, but we only had knowledge of good systems and good technologies. We live forever. But then we fell because we learned the knowledge of evil. Well now humanity's only knowing the knowledge of evil and we're losing the memory of even the knowledge of good. I have the knowledge of good and evil. I have all the knowledge of good. I have all the knowledge of evil. I'm ashamed I have the knowledge of evil, but I know it. The public now doesn't even have the knowledge of self-preservation, which is the binary foot of good and evil, because you can believe you're doing evil for survival or good for survival, but that is the great test. The public doesn't even have that yet. The prime base, that's consciousness being sucked out whether you believe it's evil humans doing it or intergalactic hobgoblins, it's happening. 52-hour transmission kicks off at 11 a.m. Central. I will now shut down this transmission. We'll get some rest, and we'll kick the ball off tomorrow at 11 a.m. You are just as important as I am or Marcos or Du or anybody else. Spread the link, infowars.com forward slash show. And how many hours? How many guns? I'd say about 20 guns. If it's about... 750 right now, 751, how many hours? 15 hours. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 hours. 15 hours till the kickoff of our most historical transmission yet. I believe in humanity. I don't want to sign on to keep the public as cattle because I have the knowledge of this, then using it against a bunch of people.
Because if I'm so transcendent and good, what the hell am I doing feeding on a bunch of dumb, slobbering morons? That's pathetic. But that's who the so-called elite think they are. They're a bunch of hunchbacks like Hillary Clinton and John Podesta. So let me tell you, I'm proud of the fact I'm not with them. I'm not with her. I'm with you and the good Lord above. Transmission begins in T-minus 15 hours. All right, join us 11 a.m. tomorrow. We're going to go 52 hours strong. See if you can keep up. Infowars.com forward slash show. Spread, spread the, the word. Link. Spread the word. Spread the link. You are the resistance. That's right. It's not just the United States. It's the entire world. We're all at a crossroads. We have seen corruption never before witnessed in this planet's history, openly documented and chronicled before us. I'll be honest with you, it, it threw me for a curveball. I thought the whole NSA spy grid would end up enslaving humanity, which it has to a great extent. But everything has an opposite and equal reaction. So the spy grid blew up in the controller's faces and documented, chronicled their crimes. WikiLeaks, in its nine, ten year history, has been bipartisan in exposing corruption. It's one of the most respectable groups out there. And I've held my judgment until recently. I salute WikiLeaks. And they have released 40 plus data dumps on Podesta, um, a window, a limited window, one person into these people. And it's devil worship and disappearing kids and stuff that you can't even believe. Foreign governments buying and selling politicians. Hillary ordering stuff covered up from the FBI. Total prison sentences. Look at all these articles. This is just what I covered today on the radio or what I attempted to cover in the Sunday broadcast, 4 to 6 p.m. Tomorrow, kicking off at 11 a.m. Central at Infowars.com, we're going to broadcast 50-plus hours right through Election Day on Tuesday, right through Wednesday, and beyond. George Soros said foreign banks are engaged in open sedition, spending billions in the last five years, creating Black Lives Matter and communist groups to openly call for the murder of police and the overthrow and burning of cities. He did that in Ukraine three years ago successfully. He launched the Arab Spring and bragged about it on CNN. What's frustrating is they admit it all. Today, Bloomberg, the Washington Post, the Associated Press, it's all right here, announced that illegals are voting and said it's an illegal's right. Because when you vote, you're a citizen. The president went on Fox to say, yes, there'll be no repercussions, vote. And I'm a racist because I don't want someone from Germany or Mexico or China to come vote here the day they get here illegally? This is such open warfare. So I've got a message, and I'm going to be totally honest with everybody, as I always am. But to say you're being honest, it takes a long time to really get through every feeling, every intellectual idea, every thought. But I'm going to do it right now. There's a paradox. People ask, you've been such an enemy of the police state, such a attacker of wrong things that cops and the feds do. Why are you their champion now in the last five years when I made four films on it and wrote books? I was never against the police. They were the modern uh, archetype of the night. On average, they were more involved, putting their life on the line, doing a hard job because of family ties and, and, and just an instinct to stand up against evil. But they were who were targeted by evil and corruption. So I was fighting for the heart and soul of police. The federalization, the globalization. And then I watched as not the way I thought where we'd expose the feds and the UN and the takeover. I was, I was stopping the, 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 you know, the training and the brainwashing and the revenue generation. I didn't realize that it would just be a total awakening against the globalists by the police and military and that they would be when I canvassed them and others, the number one group aware and involved and ready to stand up. I knew the globalists were going to send the uniform to our door to oppress us if they could get control of them. That if tyranny came, it would come in the uniform. So I knew they were important. But then I saw the police and military pretty much 90 plus percent wake up to the paradigm. And then I understood why the enemy was always trying to take control of them and trying to demonize them by giving them missions that were unconstitutional where they would march them out on a mission but then demonize them in the press for what they'd just done and misrepresent. And it was the statistics, which don't lie. These are hard numbers. You've got a better chance of dying in a car wreck, but that's the number one cause of death until you're about 60 and it's cancer and heart attacks. 
got a better chance to die in a car than a cop. But then you got a better chance of drowning than a cop. You got a better chance of falling down the shower than a cop. You got a better chance of somebody, you know, shooting you than a cop. You got a, it's like 30 something down, depending on the year, like one of the rarest ways to die is from a cop. So why have I turned on the news every night? Was it the cop was the number one problem for me and my enemy? And why was I playing into that? And then I studied George Soros in third world countries. He overthrew Ukraine. And I figured it out before he did it, but he overthrew Ukraine in an anti-cop movement with the news they controlled in Ukraine running a few videos out of context of cops outmanned, outgunned, doing desperate stuff and looking like bad guys. And sure, some thugs get involved in law enforcement. It happened. And then I began to realize, oh my God, all my work has been so productive and so accurate except in this area. And I realized that I had to somehow turn this around because America isn't perfect and our police aren't perfect and our local governments aren't perfect, but they are diverse because locals are involved and real people are involved and it's decentralized. But you look at the globalists and Soros and the UN, these are hardcore evil, evil people engaged in social engineering that want us poor, want us dumbed down, and they want to use violent civil wars to consolidate control and destroy economies and bring in Marshall plans to then basically rebuild things but own the whole new culture from the top down system. And they're so arrogant they write books about it and admit it all. And so before I get into this presentation with all this documentation, I want you to understand that they think we're stupid, they think that we're going to fall to this, and they think we're dumb. And this is the great test to see whether or not that happens. All I know is, thank God, I'm not with George Soros and her. Because Donald Trump's not a perfect man, nobody is, but he understands how we've been set up, how special interests took over, how they want to make us poor and dumb to control us. Hell, they write textbooks on it, and he's pissed off about it, and he wants to change it. And it's such an incredibly historical battle that I'm just honored to be involved in it. So here's my message to the FBI. And here's my message to local police and the military. I'm going to be just totally honest, even though I don't like being honest at this level because it's painful. I don't want to sound like a bully because I'm not. I'm not I'm not the New World Order, but being awake and being the New World Order is just a few degrees of separation because you look at how soft the public is, how dumb they are on average, how lazy, how entitled, especially young people, and how they piss on anybody that stands up for anything. And you ask, why do I stand up for you when all you do is bitch and complain, make stuff up, and believe propaganda? But you know what? There are a lot of good people of every race, color, and creed who do want liberty, and so we've got to stand up for them, even if the mass majority of people are a bunch of 